Good morning, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is going to be your weekly read for the first week of December. So let's have a look and let's see what is coming through for my Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagis, happy birthday, my loves. This is your season. We had a beautiful, beautiful new moon not long ago. So let's have a look and see what is coming through for you guys this week. So we've got love yourself in a union and I love you. Ooh, I'm going to get one more. Finances. Shit, we've got karmic connection at the bottom of the deck. I feel like something here is ending with some sort of karmic cycle. Now, karmic energy can be many things. It can be a job, can be friendships, family, lover, whomever it may be, right? Your own limiting beliefs, that can be very karmically, egoically tied. So, fire signs. What I am seeing here is that there is something that is shifting for you, okay? And I feel like there is this new form of self-love that you're now leaning into which is then expanding your heart which is then expanding your own truth and your own authenticity and i'm just hearing being shown where your heart where your heart truly lies so i feel like there is some sort of epiphany there's some sort of breakthrough that is happening for you this week and ultimately when you're sitting in a space of giving yourself love and you're you're really feeling yourself you're you know, you're experiencing growth and expansion. And when you experience that within you, externally that starts to present to you. So I definitely feel like maybe you're starting to see a shift in your finances within this week. Maybe there is some level of new growth that's coming through. And this is all coming from this state that you have now gotten yourself to of inner union. I'm hearing there's a newfound source of love for life, okay? So maybe you've gone through, maybe you've really gone through it and there's this new turn of events where the appreciation for the shit that you've gone through in your life is you're seeing it as a blessing. Maybe there are things that you weren't quite seeing clearly that things are being illuminated and you're being able to see the gift in the experience. You're being able to see the blessing in the destruction yeah and with you coming to terms with this i'm hearing gratitude so maybe you've started a gratitude practice maybe there's something there's something here where you flip the script within your own internal state and because of that you're now starting to attract in this new form of frequency that just feels like it's at a different level of consciousness than what you've maybe been sitting with great so let's have a look the sun truly okay i'm hearing as well for some of you financially i feel like that there's something here that maybe you're selling whether this is a home maybe there's some sort of move a relocation that is happening and i feel like if for some of you because i'm actually being shown like a sale of like a house if this is something that you're considering, I feel like maybe this week, maybe this is a decision that you end up making, but I'm seeing that this is going to be financially beneficial for you. And I'm hearing getting more than what you expect because you don't have any expectations. And when you release any form of expectations, especially when it comes to abundance and you're just open to receiving what is for your highest good, sitting in that state of receiving energy, you allow so much more space to receive so i just feel like something financially is is shifting mass let me just ask that because that's really grabbing my attention so this is the card of expectation right it's like there's something here something here is on its way it hasn't quite arrived but i feel like this week is going to be a breakthrough week and you're going to get a clear you're going to get a clear um, a clear direction that's going to bring this in, okay? Some sort of clear decision. The path is clear. 
And the reason why you have this abundance now coming through, as I was saying before, I was seeing like the heart expanding, like the, this all internally is now expanding, is because you're now functioning from your heart space. You've shifted out of like King of Swords energy where it's very logic, it can be very egoic, it's very head over heart. You've tapped into this heart space now. And when you're sitting in this heart space, dolphins may be significant as well for you. That might be a sign. But it feels like you've shifted something within your heart space which has allowed you. There's some sort of fear that you have overcome. There's something here that maybe emotionally there was some level of fear, but you're overcoming that this week. Because you're not making a decision from your head, you're making it from your heart. Okay, and this has taken some time for you to make this decision as well. Whatever it is that you're making a decision on as well, it's like it's got something to do with commitment. So whether this is a home, right, it requires commitment. Whether this is a relationship, it requires commitment. Whether this is signing some sort of contract, it's a level of commitment, right? This has got something to do with a commitment. Okay, anything else that we need to know? What about this inner union and this self-love, please, Spirit? Inner union and self-love. Inner union and self-love. Something is ending this week. Something is ending this week. Something that you were truly maybe only entertaining based on lust, not love. So there's something here that... maybe wasn't for the right intentions okay something that wasn't for the right intentions i'm hearing that um for some of you, you could be 30 but i'm hearing um 30 flirty 30 flirty and thriving i don't know but that's what i'm hearing so it's almost like something here was a bit of fun or something here was based on passion And it was based more on a lust, not love. Which again, lust is very led here and down there. Love is led from here and so. Um, but something here is wrapping up this week. One more as to what you would give advice. Advice. Hold on, please. Okay. Two of Cups. And the reason for this ending of this karmic situation is so that you can actually allow this major transformation to allow something in that you love. Two of Cups is partnership, it's love, it's unity, right? So something here, you're having a realization, you've got finances that's coming through based on you having the shift internally from functioning from your head over heart, which is then creating space for you to remove things based from sword energy so that you can allow cup energy in, okay? 